Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Harris and welcome to Rustic Flow. And today I'm gonna be reacting to Louis CK being savage, being a savage for nine minutes straight. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. I, I was born in 1967 and so I grew up in the 70s. So I'm not racist. <laughs> <laughs> However, because that was a very racist decade. People said racist things all the time, and nobody got offended. The only time somebody got offended if you said something racist in the 70s is when they would then say, like, hey, I, you interrupted me. I was saying something racist. Why did you? I wouldn't do that if I was you. Why? It says press. So you press the thing because it says press? You would not have survived the camps. Why? <laughs> Why did it Dude, you should just say you press. wouldn't have survived the camps. Why would they make it safe? Press, press the arc button. Enjoy. <laughs> Nigger. <laughs> my kids are like Israel and Palestine. And I'm like America. <laughs> the little one's like Palestine because she always gets screwed. She gets the worst deals. <laughs> She's like, she threw a rock at my face. I'm like, you're, you're fine. <laughs> Here's a joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because there was a black guy walking behind him. <laughs> he had a town child molester. His name was Jean Baptiste. It's a true story. <laughs> the last one, he, man. He liked teenage boys. That's when you would find out, because I was a teenage boy. He didn't like me. I, was, I felt a little bad. <laughs> talk, I have this friend. Uh, he has a phone that can IM. He can instant message. And so now I really want him to die, because I'm sick of getting these fucking messages from him on his phone. He, I, I'm in a shoe store. That's the whole message. <laughs> We're not secret agents. I don't need to know where you are. You know, kids are mean, and it's because they're trying it out. They, they, they look at a kid and they go, you're fat. And then they see the kid's face scrunch up and they go, ooh, that doesn't feel good to make a person do that. Right. But they, but they got to start with doing the mean thing. But when they write you're fat, then they just go, mmm, that was fun. I like that. <laughs> so fucking true. You're the only person we could find who would come here to defend masturbation. Well, I like it. It's... Uh... It's easy and it's fun and nobody gets hurt. The Bible teaches us that lust in your heart is a sin when acted upon outside the context of marriage. Well, I'm not married, so anything I do is outside of that context. So I get this message from him. He says, I'm on an airplane in Seattle. So I wrote back and I said, well, I hope your plane crashes. What the fuck? And he gets pissed off and he calls me, take it back. We're about to take <laughs> off. I'm like, fuck you, I hope it crashes. I don't have to take it back. <laughs> don't be a musician. That's a stupid thing to do for a living. <laughs> but, but if it doesn't work out the way you want it, you can look at these, you've got these guys here. <laughs> and he, he, tries to make, he goes, well, how are you going to feel now if my plane crashes after you went and said that? I'm like, are you shitting me? That would be amazing. <laughs> to know so that I can do that? <laughs> I'd happily trade your life for knowledge of my powers. <laughs> Enjoy each other under his loving gaze. When you mean that God watches married people have sex? Well, God watches over everything. So we're like porn for God. <laughs> he watches us, and then he probably masturbates. Have you ever tried? Tried not to masturbate? Yes. Well, sometimes I won't do it for like a week, but that's just so that when I do it again, it'll be way better. I'm thinking of buying a goat. I'm thinking of buying a goat. <laughs> Because I want to have a trash can that I can make love to. Uh, I can do that with a trash can I have now, but a goat has a vagina. That makes it <laughs> Hey, what would you do if you had a time machine? What the fuck? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I don't... You know what? I wouldn't use it. I He's just let dickhead. it sit in my house. <laughs> I'd put a drink on it. And yeah, I got a time machine. I never even wanted it. I don't know. I'm not interested. I'd use it to go back 30 minutes ago and punch you in the fucking face before you ask me that. That's all. One use. I'm a good citizen, I'm a good father, I recycle, and I masturbate. And I'm proud of it. And, and God's happy. And later I'm going to masturbate and I'm going to think about you. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> So he said if he had a time machine, he would kill Hitler. If he would go back and kill Hitler. I love that he thinks he could just kill Hitler just because he just goes back there and walk up and kill the dude. So many people say the same thing. And I was thinking, that's a noble purpose for a time machine. I would do that. But I would have gone back then, but I, I wouldn't have killed Hitler. I would have raped him. That's what I thought. <laughs> because I think that would have been enough. I think that would have stopped him from doing all that shit. If he had been raped by me, he never would have pulled any of that stuff, man. <laughs> 
got to get the phone and write hi to like 50 people. And then, you know, somebody cool writes back, and then somebody not as cool writes after, and I'm like, oh, f*** you, I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not condoning rape, obviously. You should never uh, rape anyone. Um, unless you have a reason, like you want to fuck somebody and they won't let you. In this case, uh, what other option do you have? No, you're supposed to have an orgasm in their body if you don't rape them. I mean, what the fuck? I had to flush my daughter's fish down the toilet. I came home, the fish was dead. She wasn't home from school yet, so I just flushed the fish. And then my daughter comes home. Why did he die, Dad? Come on, what am I gonna say? Why did he die? Because who gives a shit? That's the reason. <laughs> That's the actual reason. Is because he, it didn't matter that he was alive. That's why he's dead. Oh, he's fucking he savage, bro. He didn't love you back. These are the facts about that fish's fucking life. Fucking love it. Children who have nut allergies need to be protected. Of course. Of course. We have to segregate their food from nuts, have their medication available at all times, and anybody who manufactures or serves food needs to be aware of deadly nut allergies. Of course. But maybe, <laughs> maybe if touching a nut kills you, you're supposed to die. <laughs> I'm not saying don't get married. If you meet somebody, fall in love and get married, and then get divorced, because that's the best part. <laughs> it's the best part. Marriage is just like a larva stage for true happiness, <laughs> which is divorce, because you just let go, and everything's fine now. <laughs> divorce is forever. <laughs> divorce is forever. In Boston, Marriage isn't. And we're looking at this seal, or sea lion, I don't know which one. I don't care. I don't think they need to be separate things. I really don't. They don't care and we don't care. There's like three scientists who give a shit what we call all those things. Of course, if you're fighting for your country and you get shot or hurt, it's a terrible tragedy. Of course. Of course. But maybe, maybe if you pick up a gun and go to another country and you get shot, it's not that weird. It's not. Maybe if you get shot by the dude you were just shooting at, it's a tiny bit your fault. Oh. If you're in a good marriage, stay in it. If you're in the best marriage ever, stay in it. I'm just saying, if you got out, it would be better. That's just the fact. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> Everything's better. Of course slavery is the worst thing that ever of happened. Of course it is. Every time it's happened. Black people in America, Jews in Egypt, every time a whole race of people has been enslaved, it's a terrible, horrible thing. Of course. But maybe, maybe every incredible human achievement in history was done with slaves. Every <laughs> single thing where you go, how did they build those pyramids? They just threw human death and suffering at them until they were finished. <laughs> Nobody's watching your kids' videos on Facebook, I promise you. I'll prove it to you. Next time you take your kids' dance, take one second of it, and then add 20 minutes of just your own <laughs> asshole. Just... Go in the bathroom and just <laughs> record oh, your that's own anus nasty. opening and closing for 20 minutes. Oh, that was brilliant. So, that was Louis C.K. being a savage for nine minutes straight, and that was an absolute savagery. Like, it was so brilliant. I absolutely loved every fucking joke of it. Obviously, I've heard some of those. And some of them I haven't heard before. Like, it's absolutely brilliant. I really did, did enjoy that. And I love no fuck given approach to comedy. Because that's exactly how it's supposed to be. And that's how it conveys. I love this sort of comedy. Meanwhile, the moment that video finished, I got a recommendation for Jim Jeffries video which I'm gonna do straight after this so there will be two videos up uploaded straight one after the other so keep an eye out for that one as well but if you enjoyed this and if you enjoyed that sort of comedy and if you got any other comedians you know who does this shit and I haven't done reacted to it do let me know because obviously we're gonna enjoy that because it's darkest the better you know what I mean and I hope you enjoyed this if you did go ahead click that subscribe button and leave any suggestion comment as I mentioned and I'll see you guys next time.